Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Spooky Mom! And to ring in the season, EA unveiled their Dead Space remake trailer a few days ago, and it looks freaking amazing! The team behind the game is doing a stellar job, and I can't wait to jump into it. Dead Space is a great series and I'm glad to see it make a return. The most I could have hoped for was a port of all three games to modern consoles. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever expect a remake. Especially when EA did so much damage to the brand, ruining the original concept of the game, turning it from a creepy psychological horror to a mow-everything-down action game. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Today, we're here to cover the Collector's Edition. The pros, the cons, and if I think it's worth the money. Obviously, it comes with a game, in physical form, on the PS5 and Series X. For PC, it would be a digital code. Original soundtrack on CG, lithographic print of Isaac Clark, a foil stamp lithograph, a steelbook case, four mini posters, Ishirama patch, a marker enamel pin, and a four inch metal marker statue. Lastly, a life size wearable Isaac Clark helmet with lights. You get all this for a whopping $274.99. You can order it now exclusively on LRG's website and it will be available until the game's release date on January 27, 2023. Now for my thoughts. I was surprised when they announced that Limited Run Games would be getting this as an exclusive. It's a little odd that went this direction. EA is a massive company, and they could have just distributed this themselves like they've done many times before in the past. Maybe it was just easier for them to pay LRG the big bucks to do it for them, and not have to mess with the logistics and the hurdles of physical distribution. The pros to this is it's going to be open pre-order, so you don't have to worry about trying to fight scalpers. LRG will make as many orders as they receive. And the pre-order cutoff will be around the game's release date. So you have a generous amount of time to get your order in. This is great for anybody who wants to get one, but it's also a negative as those who want to import are going to be paying a very expensive shipping fee. Not to mention you're going to have to pay up front like you always do with LRG. And you'll be waiting a long time to actually get your collector's edition. Limited Run Games said they would be shipping the game separately from the CE so that everybody could play it on release. That's pretty cool of them, but I would take that as a grain of salt. As someone who's purchased many of their releases over the years, it takes about a week or longer for me to actually get a package from them in the US. Seeing as this isn't a proper collector's edition with a game housed in the box, I don't know why LRG isn't making a version that you could purchase without the game for $70 cheaper. That way, if you want to do a store pickup, midnight release, or buy it digitally and still get cool stuff, you can. Sounds like a missed opportunity, so fair warning if you buy this from LRG, you're not going to be playing it on release, so watch out for those spoilers. As for what I think about the Collector's Edition, the Steelbook is pretty cool, though I do have to admit the art does look a little plain on it. I would have preferred the art that's on the Collector's wow. Edition box as the Steelbook, and the artwork on the Steelbook as the box. The helmet, I'm unsure about. I've seen LRG staff wearing it in a few pictures, and it kind of looks cool. But then at the same time, it does look really plasticky. I don't know how the lights work. Is it battery operated? Is it rechargeable through USB? How strong are the lights in the daylight and in the dark? Are there different effects like flickering, or is it just one static light? Is there any moving parts to it, or is it just one solid piece? There's not really much information to go on when it comes to it. Speaking for me, having a big ass head, I'm most likely not even going to be able to wear it, so I don't really care about it. I do like the miniature marker statue, that's pretty cool. I appreciate the physical soundtrack as well. But aside from that, everything else, I don't like it. The posters and lithographs have cool art, but I would have much preferred a hardback art book that has art from both the original and the remake. Developer interviews, behind the scenes insight, etc. The other half of the book could have been a full guide walkthrough. Maybe an exclusive Blu-ray making of the game. There's lots of cool things they could have put in this collector's edition instead. I personally feel like a lot of this stuff is by the number basic AAA junk. Nothing really spectacular stands out for me. At $275 plus tax and shipping, that's going to make it well over $300 in the US alone. And I don't even want to know how much for other countries. I can only speak for myself when I say this, but it's definitely a hard pass for me. I'd much rather put my money to other games over this, but I do hope those who purchase this really enjoy it and have a lot of fun with it. Regardless which version of this game you go with, you're gonna have a spooky dookie. Good time. 
And that's it for this video. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. And if you like this video and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I'd love you to be a part of my YouTube family. I'll see you in the next video. Bye and happy gaming.